Good afternoon slash evening, y'all. Let's uh, let's talk about the Electroglide revival, not in the positive way everyone else is talking about it. What you say? He doesn't like it? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I just want to get into this a little bit. The Electroglide revival. I did a video a, a, a while back saying like, what is this thing? Because we knew that it had been cleared. Was it EPA? I don't remember. We, we had some documentation out there on the interwebs that said like it was cleared for a 107 and a 114. We knew it was an FLH. So there's tons of theories. Is You know, mine was that it was going to be a, a, a bullet fairing FXR style on a Road, road King. I was wrong. Um, I'll throw pictures all over this video in different corners and stuff. But the Electric Glide Revival is the best example of platform technology you can ever possibly imagine. Um, platform technology is not new. You know, it's been used by the Japanese, the Americans, everyone in the world uses this. And basically what it is, is you look for different ways to take the same parts and build onto it, you know, one or two frames to come up with 35 different models. It's the Taco Bell of building a, a motorcycle. <laughs> because Taco Bell, I always jokingly said, is like five ingredients, just, just different ways and there you go. The Electric Glide Revival, FLH is $29,000. And I bet you dealers are getting a couple grand premium on them, right? They only make 1,500 of them. So scarcity, driven up demand, low supply, da, 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 da. so dealers will make a couple thousand bucks on this. This should be an incredibly profitable motorcycle for both the dealers and Harley. And it made a splash. So there's some positives and negatives here. And I'm not going to storyboard and figure this out. We're just going to talk. The positive, it's cool looking. I like it. I like nostalgia. I like stuff that looks like it's from the 60s, and it does. Um, what I really love about it is I love the entire idea of the Icon collection. So they're going to be classic motorcycles based on previous models that they're going to come out with every once in a while in small batches and high prices, and those of us that are obsessed with Harley can buy one. I'm Please, God, let there be a Springer. You know, I... Uh, supposedly, those of you who are all Springer nuts, um, I'll put a picture like there of what I'm talking about. A classic skinny tire soft tail Springer. Um, supposedly Harley sold all the machining to make Springer front ends, side note, to Paco. So if that's true, Harley can't even make Springer front ends, but they could still buy 1,500 of them from Paco, right? So anyway, that's a, that's a thing. Um, the Electric Glide Revival is an Electric Glide standard. You have to look at the picture. I'm going to put it up here. You have to look at the picture and realize, look at those lines. It is an electric glide standard. It has the standard back fender. It has the same tens, you know, front fender, tank, and whatnot. Beautiful paint, though. I like the paint selection because it does look just like a 69 electric glide. Another thing I absolutely love is the fender badge. The, the old school electric glide fender badge is super cool. The... Bags and fairing being white is a throwback to the original 69 Electric Glide, where those were accessories. So it was sort of Road King-ish, and then you could buy a fiberglass fairing and a fiberglass set of bags. Those are the modern, regular fairing and, and saddle bags you get on an Electric Glide standard. Painted birch white to make it look like fiberglass. Platform technology, guys, birch white is police white. It's the same white they paint cop bikes every day. So they didn't come out with a special white to be nostalgic. It's the same white paint they have by the ton that they do cop bikes with. Um, they did, however, do a beautiful job, again, on that blue and the, and the, and the black denim on the bottom and a, you know, a badge that looks like the 69 badge and stuff. And they took the modern Street Glide stereo, you know, the GT, GPS, GTS system that has GPS and radio and Bluetooth and blah, 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 blah. But the only thing I'm really interested in I'm curious about is where those wheels came from because those lace spoke wheels which I'm a huge fan of I don't think are currently available on any other model and I don't think you can just take heritage wheels I think it's a different hub on a bagger as it is on a heritage for example so they may have had to get 1500 sets of lace wheels because there's no more road kings that have lace wheels and no other model comes with them so they did at least have to come up with some special wheels for that bike but 
The point here is I love it, but at the same time, a little bit disappointed that all they did was like a special seat. That seat, by the way, another point, is the cop pan. <laughs> that pan is from the police bike. The same suspension system as a police bike and a different saddle with a, with a rail. So what they did is they took an electric light standard, they painted it a cool color, they painted the fairing and bags cop white, they put the cop pan seat and suspension on it, they made a special saddle for it and a grab rail, um, which I don't know if that's an accessory for cop bikes anyway, but they added the accessory dress up rails, uh, guard rails for the saddle bags. Um, white walls, special wheels, $29,000 though. for an electric light standard with stereo in it. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, so anyway, I just really wanted to make this video for conversation and how you have to kind of look at a product sometimes. I, I'm a professional skeptic. Like for a living, I look at things and go, how could this be wrong? And the first thing I saw when I saw that bike was, wow, that's cool and it's nostalgic and I can see where people would buy it. But at the same time, be aware what it is dressed up electric life standard. So hopefully I didn't just you know, make uh, 10,000 people irate out there. Let's have a conversation. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm, you're totally offended. <laughs> and uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. We have these sort of chats all the time. And then still tune in tomorrow, um, sometime midday, later afternoon, something like that. I'll be dropping a video of a really, really cool high-end installation on the 21 Ultra uh, Limited. So stay tuned for that. Take care of each other out there. We'll talk soon. Bye.